Good morning, Word Nerds. How are you? Welcome to the Marvelous Monday edition of Word of the Day. If you don't already know, my name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls. And each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound sparkles. Thank you for being here on the replay if that's where you're at. Let's jump right in, shall we? A quick review of the weekend. On Saturday, we had uh, propitiate and propitiate, propitiate. Blah, I can't even talk. Good morning, Carla. Propitiate means to gain the favor of someone. So I saw some really good scopes on that one. And then yesterday's was equanimous. Equanimous. And equanimous means even-tempered, calm, composed in all circumstances. Hello, smartphone. How are you, my friend? So those were Saturday and Sunday. So now we know. Good morning, John. So today's word of the day for Monday... January 30th. Can you believe it's the 30th already? Good morning, Scott. And if you don't already have your W-2s out, you got one day left. Um, so today's word of the day is scrutable. Scrutable. S-C-R-U-T-A-B-L-E. S-C-R-U. Screw. Table. T-A-B-L-E. Scrutable. All right. And someone who is scrutable, this is an adjective, is someone who is capable of being understood. So, do we any, do do we know anyone in the world? Sorry, I had to throw the W2s in there because it is January 30th. Do we know anyone in the world who might be considered scrutable? Can can we think of anyone? Is anyone capable of being understood anymore? I mean, I know you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, but can you truly understand me? Can you understand who I am, what I do, where I'm from? I don't mean to go too deep on this, but I told I got called. I, someone said something to me on Twitter this morning, and it, it's not that I'm mad. People who are inscrutable. Well, people who are unscrutable are people who uh, cannot be understood. It would be the opposite, right? Um, but someone did say something to me on Twitter this morning that I need to get over myself. And I thought, you don't know anything about me. Because, yeah, I have a tendency to be unhumble about a lot of things and kind of boisterous, but I'm also one of the most humble people I know when it comes to social media. I have not once gotten on a soapbox about either side of any issue. I Yeah, right? Someone said, I need to get over myself. Those were his exact words. You need to get over yourself. Because I called out a reporter for doing something that a reporter shouldn't do and I called her out on Twitter for it now she came back with an explanation and I came back with the second question AP rules with well, not even a rule it's AP guidelines tr trolls are I don't think this guy's a troll though I really don't I think he's honestly just so far on one side of the issue that he's firing off at anyone who th he thinks is is the opposite side of the issue honestly I think he's just he, just, he said that because he didn't have a valid argument, so he had to go personal. That's I'm just writing it off as that. He didn't have a valid argument for my question, so he just went personal and told me I needed to get over myself. So anyway, the AP guidelines are that when you're referring to a head of state, you use their title the first time you refer to them, and then you can call them Mr. or Mrs. or Miss after that. Well, this one reporter did a story, and it was it was like the sixth or seventh story on the night. The first time that that reporter referred to the president in that story, she referred to him as Mr. Trump. And so my, my question to her was, aren't you supposed to call him President Trump? And she replied with the AP guidelines. So I looked them up, and I was like, yeah, those are the guidelines. But in your story about Dianne Feinstein filing a suit against him, you called him Mr. Trump. The first time you refer to him. So I was just asking a question. Honestly, this is one of the news people who usual response to facts. Go, yeah, exactly. Um, I, I actually really, really, really respect this news reporter. Her name is Heather. She's out of the San Francisco Bay Area. She's drop dead gorgeous. And I, I love her reporting. I really do. I enjoy watching her report. Her name is Heather Holmes. She's really smart. She's really well put together. Um, she adds a little humor to certain things, but she's, you know, she's very serious about the serious news. Um, I've never seen her put any spin on anything so that she's being one side of the aisle or the other. 
she's she's a journalist so I was simply asking her a question about being a journalist and what was the rule about calling someone president versus mister. And this troll tells me, well, okay, he's not a troll, but this guy comes on and tells me that I need to get over myself just because I'm asking these questions. Obviously a Trump hater because of the second thing that he said. So I just muted him on Twitter. I don't even care. It was Dave something or other. I don't even care. But anyway, so I'm starting to feel a little bit like my, my, I think I'm scrutable. I think I am capable of being understood. If I think someone isn't understanding something that I'm saying or trying to get across to them, I'll double back on myself and try to come at it from another direction. I will try to learn how that person listens so that I can use the right words or maybe that person's a visual learner. So um, people who are loud and wrong are trolls. <laughs> I don't know how loud he is. I just know he, he went personal with it. Um, but again, I, I am someone who goes out of my way. If I think someone is a visual learner, I'm going to start drawing on my whiteboard. If I think they're a, a tactile learner, you know, someone who needs to get hands in and, and really put their fingers on it, right, then I'm going to, you know, have them take a piece of paper and write out whatever it is that we're working on. And maybe that'll help them, you know, get the hands on or, or at least visually draw it themselves. If, if my words aren't enough, right? Then I go visual. And then if that doesn't work, then I try to figure out how to communicate with them through touch. It's, it's just, it's everybody's learning style is different. Everybody's communi communication style is different. So go out of your way today to be as scrutable as you can. Easily understood. Be somebody, I am, I am here to help. I also do payroll in my regular world. Talk about trying to help people. My job is to pay people accurately and timely. That is my mission statement. That's what I do, people. And when have you ever, on any of my scopes, figured out what side of the aisle I'm on? Do you know if I'm a Democrat? Do you know if I'm a Republican? Do you know if I'm a liberal? Do you know if I'm a conservative? No, because I don't do that on social media. I haven't done it on my Facebook page. I haven't done it on my Twitter account. I sure as heck haven't done it here on Periscope. Everybody is entitled to their opinions and I respect them. Even when they're different than mine, I respect them. So, all right. Enough of my rant. Scru Word of the day is scrutable, capable of being understood. S-C-U, I'm sorry, S-C-R-U-T-A-B-L-E. Use it, don't abuse it. Be very, very scrutable today. Be easy to understand. Go out of your way to make sure that people understand what it is that you're saying. Don't get frustrated with them if they're not understanding it. Maybe you need to change the way that you're approaching it. That's okay. It just means you need to do a little changing. Change is not scary. Change is not bad. Change is sometimes a really good thing. Okay? I'm just saying. All right, guys. I love you very, very much. Thank you so much, Carla. You're so sweet. You made me feel all better. That whole thing is now behind me. It is in my past. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a marvelous Monday. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another everywhere, including on social media. All right? And be super scrutable today with your words. Mwah. Until tomorrow. Bye now.